videos. So we're headed to breakfast. Morning. Morning. And it's day 48. So yeah. yeah. Bye. They say every journey begins with a single step. But I believe ours began over two years ago when we decided to attempt a through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Through years of preparation and training, we prepared ourselves for an adventure of a lifetime. This is our journey to Katahdin. Chicken, sausage links, which are the bigger ones, and then we have pork sausage also. We have our tomato pie this morning, which we have a backup on. If you haven't had it, it tastes like deep dish pizza. It's very good. We have boiled eggs, some fruit, our homemade granola with the French vanilla yogurt that you can make yourselves parfaits. David's strudels this morning are the Scott strawberries. They're local and we just got them in a few days ago and they're awesome. So try the strawberries, strudel. We have lemon poppy seed muffins and we have sticky buns and some dark chocolate. Gotta have chocolate with How is the breakfast? It was worth it, right? Yeah. So good. I just heard you say that to Chico. I'm so mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, we're all packed up and headed, leaving a wonderful, amazing bed and breakfast here at Mountain Harbor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shannon, you are wonderful and we so appreciate you. We're leaving Mountain Harbor. And we have about, it's probably 0 0.1, 0 0.2 road walk back to the trail. I cannot recommend this place enough. And I know I've said it before, but I have to say it again. It's the first place we've been that really made me feel like I was back at home. And we got some really great restorative, restful sleep and rest. walk is done and we are officially now back on the AT. We're so happy to be back on trail. This is already within the first half a mile just a beautiful hike. There's water all around us. It's so green and it's so beautiful. And despite the weather forecast being rain and thunderstorms for the next Wait for it, 10 days. We don't care. We're having a great time. We're just going to take each day as it comes as we have been doing this whole journey and enjoy our time out here. It's going to be another magical day. You know, one of the greatest things that comes with hiking out of town is I smell myself. And it smells so good. I smell like soap, fresh shampoo, my clothes are clean. Oh, mm, I smell like a day hiker. <laughs> Not for long. The birds are singing. Oh, also, I wanted to mention that, um, sorry, fell asleep early last night. Luckily, Little Bear remembered and did a short little closure video for us. But I had intended to mention last night, if I weren't already sleeping, um, I wanted to thank, or we, Little Bear and I, wanted to thank our friend Prepper. Prepper, um, from the very beginning, has been cheering us on and has been such an encouragement, brother in Christ and a big supporter for us. And he insisted that we 
stay at Mountain Harbor because he just knew we would have the best experience. So he gen generously paid for one night for us to stay there. And Prepper, you were so right, brother. I can't even tell you how wonderful Shannon is and how wonderful our stay was. And it was exactly what we needed. So thank you so much for continuing to pray for you and um, to get all healed back up so that you can get back out here on the AT and we can support you and cheer you on. For those of you that haven't been in many of the AT Thru-Hiker 2023 or 2024 um, Facebook groups, uh, Prepper attempted a thru-hike last year and from a simple blister, and we all know that blisters aren't always just, you know, a simple issue, his turned into MRSA. And he spent weeks in the hospital. Um, I don't remember how many surgeries he had to go through, but he almost lost his leg. So he's now advocating and educating people through the Facebook groups, and other resources to tell people about the dangers of blisters, um, not taking your shoes off if you have any open wounds in showers, um, and just ed educating people on the things that you need to be careful of when you're on trail. So again, Prepper, thank you so much, my friend. We're so thankful for you. Um, your generosity was just such a blessing to us, and we just want you to know that we love you, we're praying for you, and we are going to keep cheering you on to heal and to get back out here as well on the AT. Well, it looks like we're going to pass by a cemetery. This is called the Isaac Cemetery. I don't know what all of this is. Yeah, but what is that on the thing? Is that canned food? Um, hmm. I don't know what to think about this. There's some flowers. There's some... Canned vegetables, some beans, and there's the beautiful cemetery. A backpack down there? Yeah. And trash. Shame. Shame, shame. Hmm. It's not a thru hiker backpack. Don't know what the story behind that is.
some dark clouds that are kind of surrounding all over. But so far, no rain yet. We made 400 miles! We made 400 miles! Yeah. <laughs> nice job! <laughs> oh look, here's another one! And there's, there's even an AT symbol. Yeah. 400 miles. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is Mountaineer Falls. A little small waterfall. Well, we've come to the shelter to have our lunch because as you can hear and see, it's raining really, really hard. It's kind of nice to be able to sit in the shelter and have our food. <laughs> Right, we had a quick lunch at the shelter and now we're pressing on. Really hope we get a break um, in a few hours once we get to our campsite to be able to set up our tent because setting it up in this pouring rain will not be fun. But you do what you gotta do. No pain, no rain, no main. All right, we have had a short, what we think, break in the rain. It's still raining, but um, it's more of like of a hard sprinkle. So we are going to move with the purpose and get this tent set up and secured for the night. Just to be raining and thunderstorming pretty much for the rest of the evening until tomorrow. And then again tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> nice job. We did that probably in record time, huh? Perfect, beautiful little campsite. This is probably one of our favorite ones yet. Yeah, Comes close to the foothills trail that we love right next to the river. Well, this is what it looks like from hiking all day in the rain. Ugh. <laughs> Everything's so like just wet and damp. But we are dry inside our tent now. Or we will be dry once we change into dry clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the closing of day 48. How was Hi. your how was your day? It was a good day. I'm so excited and happy to be back on trail. Yeah, so I had a pretty good day as well. What was your highlight? My highlight was when we decided to push through the rain mm -hmm. because we didn't hit the miles that we wanted to and we decided to leave the shelter and push through the rain and um, made it, you know, another whatever that was, like four miles or so. Well, that was boring. My highlight was 400 miles. Oh! Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah! 400 miles. Okay, that's highlight number two. I forgot about that. Okay, so my highlight was 400 miles and Jack Falls. John Falls. The first, yeah, the first waterfall we came to. I can't remember. Like Jones. Maybe it's Jones, Jones Waterfalls. Probably. Yeah. So that was my two highlights. Now, what was your character builder? Um, <clears throat> I have a headache. So I don't know why I have a headache, but I have a headache. And I had a headache the last like two hours of our hike. So that's my character builder. She's dehydrated. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I drank a lot before we left at the hostel. That's it true. was hot today though. Yeah. And humid. It yeah. Was so humid. It was ninety three percent humidity. And it was only like sixty five degrees or sixty six degrees, which yeah. you would think that's not hot. It's really not hot. But it the, was hot. The humidity was so high it was like I was sweating so much. It's like putting a wet cloth over your mouth and then trying to breathe. Yeah. So it's not very fun. Yeah. So it was hot. Yeah, I would say definitely the humidity slash heat was definitely my character builder. Mm. So, is that what we do? Yeah, I think so. We went from Mountain Harbor Inn to an unnamed campsite. I think we're at 11.7 or 11.8. I can't remember. Seven, I believe. Yeah. This much. 
Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else for today. I'm happy to be back on trail. Um, it feels nice to be laying in our tent. I yeah. really love our sleeping pad and our tent. It's so snuggly. Yeah, it's very nice. And it's so peaceful. And you guys saw the campsite that we're at. and um, It's lovely. Right yeah. next to the water. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful night. So it's still supposed to um, storm and rain throughout the rest of the evening, night, and I think for like the next some days. But whatever. <laughs> We're just doing our thing. Yeah. Well, love and light to you all. Thank you guys for watching to the end of this video. Yeah, uh, thank you. I already showed you guys speakers only again. Mm -hmm. Just in case if you missed her. Um, yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow on day 49, almost 50. Woo! <laughs> Bye!